Now, this is just a pound and a half of ground beef. These are going to make four hamburgers, by the way. And to this, I'm going to add a couple things. This is canned pineapple. I need it in the round. Don't buy it chunked because that is going to go on the top of the hamburgers. And when you grill it, be so beautiful. Quarter of a cup of the juice goes into your ground beef. Make sure it's not too much. That's perfect. Then in here, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Now, two of my favorite ingredients. This is going to be beefy onion soup. A whole packet goes in here. It's got all the spices and flavors that you need right inside this nice little packet. I also want to put in here this ginger teriyaki sauce mix. This is so delicious, but of this, it's so strong, you only need two tablespoons. And what I love about these seasoning packets, too, is they save you not only a lot of time, but a lot of money, because there's lots of seasoning in them, lots of flavor. Mmm, smells delicious. All these flavors add to some incredible hamburger. Can I just tell you? Just make sure they're combined thoroughly. Now, there is no easy way to do what I have to do. You just got to get in there and make these babies. So, I want to make four hamburgers. Let's see, there's one, two, three, a little bit too much here. Nice, plump, round hamburgers. And then in the center of each one of these, I'm going to put a piece of pineapple and push that right down and build your hamburger a little bit around it. But wait till you take these off the grill. They are so cool. Okay. Put a pineapple side down. And can I just tell you, these are really fun. Kids are going to love them. Everybody loves them. They're unique and they're smart. Now, just three more to go. Cook these on high heat. That will char the outside of your burger and lock in the pineapple on the inside. And the last one. Beautiful. Now, whenever you're cooking with meat, even outside, you have to remember to wash your hands. Now for my wasabi mayonnaise. Okay, you want to start off with a little bit of mayonnaise, about a third of a cup. And then to this, I'm going to add two things. I'm going to add a tablespoon of this wasabi paste. They're available right in the grocery store in the Asian section. This stuff is hot, hot, so be careful with it, especially if you're feeding kids. And then I'm going to put in a tablespoon of soy sauce. And both really complement that teriyaki pineapple burger. And look at this, it smells great. Mix that together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Now I want to cover this up and get it back into the cooler and flip those burgers. And look at this. This is a little bite of heaven. And be very careful because they are very fragile with those juicy pineapple in them. And that is a beautiful thing. Mouth-watering, falling apart, tender, juicy, and perfection. I already have some buns ready to go. Lettuce, tomato, and some nice sweet onion on there. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. And by the way, these are like eight minutes per side, and they are perfection. Look at that. That is some semi-homemade burger. You get to take all the credit for this, too, and it's brilliant. Now, a little bit of that wonderful wasabi mayonnaise on each one of these. Oh, yeah. Nice and tangy and wonderful. Just place the buns on the top, and you are ready to serve. And everybody loves a good, juicy burger, right?